Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Uh, so I'm not gonna do what I said I was gonna do last time and unpack the half hour or more of exposition that got dumped on us. We're gonna wait a little bit longer. We're gonna stew on that for just a little bit longer. Mainly because it's been a long day and my brain is fried. So I want to just... Uh, hmm. This might not be good. I might have to juke this out a little bit. Well, I do have my resurrection, so... Even if... Ooh, I got hit by the big one, but it did pop me up onto the cliff instead of knocking me down. So this is fine. Um, so I'm just gonna... Chill with Sekiro today. I'm gonna relax with this game that I like a whole, whole bunch. And do one of my favorite things to do with a game like this and just relax and sublimate into it after a long day. Uh, so the reason why we are back here and why we ran past the Shichimen Warrior again is to get to this end of the abandoned dungeon, which, now that I'm thinking about it, I could have gone to the other, uh, the other sculptor's idol that was just after the bell guy. But like I said, the brain no work good today. Hopefully I do word good, but no no mouth if word do good yet today. Evidently not. <laughs> it um it is going to naturally flow from all of the talk of immortality, the coveting of immortality, and immortal severance. The place that we're going today. We just have to get there first. Starting with finding that Sculptor's Idol that we just passed. It's a real tricky little bugger to find. It's very easy to miss, as you can see. We completely neglected it our first time through the abandoned dungeon. The fun thing about this, though, is coming here at this point, revisiting it now, uh, that we have that underwater dive, is we can find a whole lot of stuff, like this note from Dosaku. My disciples have abandoned me for Dogen. Unwilling to dirty their own hands, they all left me for that hypocritical quack. Dogen, my last disciple, even if I die, the research must continue. Finish the procedure for Ashina's sake. It's a pretty good time to revisit this area. And even open up a shortcut leading back to Dogen. Also, the names really get me confused because they all start with D. And they all have kind of a similar starting sound. Dojin, Dosaku, Dogen. And then Dojin and Dogen being so similar. Also, that's not suspicious at all. Maybe evidence of uh, quite a bit of bloodletting. This is what, the third time now that we've encountered leeches? Or, hmm. Some Wrigley types, eels, perhaps. And I believe this waterway forks off in three directions. Only two of them are important, so if we do happen to miss one, which I think we did, we're missing really boring items. And not much else. Oh, I locked onto the fish by accident. I hate that you can do that when out of water. see that my perfect parry timing is just a tad bit off today. This is okay, I haven't played in a hot minute. Once we operate the mechanism, it's going to cause the wheel to turn and a pulley to lift an elevator. Oh, I would love that indicator to go away. It's for the alert state of a fish that's in the water. But yeah, yet another branch from the abandoned temple. This is another area that we could we could have gone to pretty early on. It's just that there is much less that we could have done here prior to defeating Genichiro compared to what we can do now after having done so. You. Those of the Senpo Temple have strayed from 
Buddha's teachings. They have abandoned their faith, seduced by a search for immortality. Should you be captured, there is no telling what would become of you. You would do well to return the way you came. However, I will not stop you from entering if you are determined to do so. But if you do, please proceed with care. I will not stop you from entering, but if you do... And this is what I meant when I said that the area that we would be going to today flows naturally from everything that got dumped on us last time. Senpo Temple. I see you have decided to continue. We will pray for your safety. It is the least we can do. The least we can do. We will pray. So what we know about Senpo Temple is that Ishin Ashina thinks they are rats, despises them, in fact. Now we have some context for why, because they seek immortality, and Ishin is opposed to that ideologically. Oh, this boy! Best boy! <laughs> they left me here. Where did everyone go? Why did you leave Kotaro behind? Now what do I do? Why are you crying? Everyone's gone. I'm all alone. Who's everyone? Everyone? Huh? Who? Uh, um, <laughs> the spinning, spinning red and white flowers. Only one pure white flower. The pure white flower I cannot find. What? My head hurts. Sorry. I have no idea what I'm saying. I just... I've got to find the pure white flower. So he wants a pure white flower. I've also heard about these red and white pinwheel flowers before. Yeah, really good lay of the land from here as well, after meeting Katara. And... Don't even have to take a running leap. So you're just chilling on the bridge when all of a sudden this murderous Naruto falls from the sky. And make no mistake, Sekiro is just... Murder Naruto. He's a ninja who dresses in bright orange. Oh, we'll even get the drop on this boy. One of the Senpo assassins. And that icon, that new icon that popped up after he died, uh, was alerting us that we could trigger our new blood smoke ninjutsu. We'll get to see that today, I'm sure. Uh, also, as for the kite and the mechanism, there would be no sense to try to operate it now because it's part of a puzzle uh, that we can't do much with until we revisit this area later on. Sekiro is very backtrack heavy. But then again, I think that's why they give you so many sculptor's idols clustered so close to one another. How did... God, this man needs glasses. And a hearing aid, to be honest. But there's no sense in complaining about it. Because it lets us easily stealth the monk with a staff. It unfortunately does not give us very much information about their movesets. So there are two types of monks in this area. Ones who fight with bow staffs and ones who fight barehanded. And now we'll get to see their movesets. Let's corral them a little bit. Oh, you. So that's a thrust perilous attack that he tried to do through the wall. Because he is not a smart man. Oh, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Get them that uh, the iframes going. Come on now. Perfectly spaced. Loving that. Love playing footsies with the enemies. Oh man. So I did hit the Makiri counter, but because I was in it, uh, hit uh, hit recovery, could not execute it. That did surprisingly little. But also, the healing that you get out of that, uh, the death blow heal from Orin of the Water is not trivial at all. It's a pretty hefty chunk of your health bar that you heal, that you heal up. Uh, so I will say that the trick to this pathway leading up to the main temple is that you do not take to the air. If you take to the tree branches, you'll get maybe one or two good plunging attacks off, but you will be spotted by seven of them, give or take. So instead, you take this roundabout flanking route, and you can get behind every last one of them. We're just gonna wait for them to patrol either towards us for a stealth kill or away. And now, this is gonna be a pretty good opportunity to show off Blood Smoke. Which, wow, what a name! Backstab, execute, Blood Smoke. Which lets you chain together backstabs on opponents who are clustered together. Now we could do that for this whole patrol. I was right, it is seven. Three here, two further down the hill, and the two that we just took out. We could take five at a time, sure. It shouldn't be too much of a big deal. We're gonna isolate this one because he is a little bit weaker and easier to deal with. So we'll start by thinning the numbers with him. Deal with you. And get a Makiri counter if we can. I don't know where the other two went. <laughs> oh my god. It's such a, like a Harry Mason inspecting the doghouse uh, moment. A doghouse, but I don't see any dogs around here. Uh, that does leave one unaccounted for, though. I think. Unless I was mistaken and there were six of them. Or I just counted bad while I was fighting. Either way, he doesn't seem to be around. Maybe he ran away. By the way, if you have any information about these statues up here, these five, I would love to learn more. Because I'm sure there's some significance. But I haven't parsed that out yet. So there's you. Uh, there are another three monks who are deep in meditation, which makes it very difficult for them to actually perceive you. So long as you stick to the outside wall. And what that allows you to do is get an instant kill on a much more dangerous enemy hanging out behind the shrine. So that leaves the three monks and mm, that guy back there. He is not going to aggro while we fight these monks. But if you get close to him, like, you can see there's an item just very clearly laid out in front of him. And it's obvious as hell that this is bait. Plus, you notice how many crickets there are. If you put two and two together, you can surmise that he might have some interaction with those crickets. So you don't take the bait. You kill him first. And in fact, if if I had taken the bait, he would have vomited uh, some kind of, I'm going to say cricket pheromone all over me. That would make the crickets mad horny. Mad horny for this butt. Uh, they would chomp on my butt till I was a skeleton. Until there was no butt left to chomp and no flesh anywhere else on my body. Fruits of the 
serpent, yes. There are two kinds. One is fresh, the other is dried. It's over there. The fresh one is over there. Over the cliff, through the hole. That's where you'll find it. Fresh? What are you talking about? Hmm? Something troubling you? Rice for me, that's the way. <laughs> rice, I say. If something troubles your mind, bless me with rice anytime. So if you look at that big... Have any rice? Rice from the divine child. That big downward streak of white? That is, I believe, a big sheet of molted serpent skin hanging off the cliff. Uh, plus, we have all of these effigies and the red and white pinwheels. Now, I say that that is serpent skin. I'm not 100% sure, but given that you can see uh, uh, shed skin more clearly in other areas along cliff sides, I think that's a safe guess for that. Plus, she's talking about the Serpent Viscera. So very faintly in the background for this track, which surprising at all that we get a musical track for Mount Congo. Considering how silent most FromSoft zones tend to be. Uh, layered into this track, you can hear a little bit of chanting or some kind of throat singing. It's not quite as powerfully ominous as the Yahar Ghoul theme, but hmm. I'm going to try to pull this one alone with a shuriken. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. He always pulls, no matter what. What varies is whether or not he brings friends, and he brought friends. So, hmm. Ideally, I could separate them and f Oh, this is even better, because now I can just backstab you. Uh, these new twirly boys? Holy shit, do I not want to fight two of them at a time. Uh, I think they're some of the worst enemies that you could fight in crowds. Uh, or in multiples, rather. Because if you if they're surrounded by a couple of weak enemies, like so, you can run around and isolate the weak ones pretty easily. Uh, those the twin blade enemies are really hardy though. And they're super mobile and aggressive. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not sure if that's a thrust attack or if that counts as a grab or sweep. It looks like a thrust. But if it is, I usually have a hard time Makiri countering it. And by that, I mean I don't think I've ever pulled it off. So I tend to not try anymore. Uh, the big weakness to the Twin Blade enemies is that they like to go airborne a lot. It's like they're swinging insect flaves around. They love taking to the sky and just flipping and twirling around. But that makes them uh, susceptible to either getting swatted out of the air or just shurikened. What I was hoping to do there uh, was to pull the one and fight him one-on-one -on -one and then come down the hill and stealth kill the other one. But it sort of worked out that way just in reverse. Uh, also, those enemies really remind me that the thing that I miss most from Dark Souls 2, aside from power stancing, is the twin blade weapon type. It's a real shame that we've never got another one of those. Uh, I'm going to take a running... Woohoo! No, I'm not! <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> oh. You see, I don't understand how people can screw up so badly and get really salty about it. It's so funny. It's great when games let you just fail spectacularly. 
when they let things go so wrong. I love it. We've pretty well cleared out of this area. So, this is going to be our way forward. And look at that. Yet another Sculptor's Idol. And this one is going to be really important because it's our main access to what is going to be a merchant here in a second. Once we... I didn't trust it. Uh, once we follow this short cliffside path that... Nope, 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 nope. Those should be bound to different buttons, maybe. Maybe. And you can see the hill where we came from. Oh, so many gorgeous vistas in this area. It's one of my favorite areas in the game. Yeah, to purchase an offering. Another one. And you find the departed. You'll find the memorial mob. There'll be none to mourn you. Should you forget the Buddha, go ahead. Buy an offering. As per usual, we'll be back for some of the uh, memorial mob stuff later. Hey, you find the departed. Wherever your travels take you. Nothing all that pressing at the moment. So now the way forward is up. And it branches here, but not too significantly. This is just going to allow you to decide which way you want to approach a single problem from. Namely, all the Senpo assassins up here. Oh, shit. I always forget how fast that counterattack comes out. It's not very damaging. Ooh. Okay. Uh, we need to make sure to time this so we don't get... Knocked out of the grapple. Good. Good spacing. Nothing feels better than being right on the money with your spacing. Especially with the axe, because it has such a long wind-up and such a specific range. So when you hit him on just the edge of it, it's an immaculate feeling. As is this. So, this fight against all the Senpo assassins went really well. We even get a spirit emblem for our troubles. And we can move on, uh, which is going to be up here. And then, hmm, I think this is the side path, the optional path I want to take here. Uh... But I'm looking for the specific cue. I think I've passed it. That's okay. We'll go back in a second. Yeah, I haven't gone too far. Oh, yes! Oh, I know it's coming there. But first, we have to backtrack. Just a, just a hair. Now, where is that little ledge that I'm looking for? This is a slight pain in the ass. Oh, it's around the corner. You have to do this goofy little wall jump here to find this, to propel you forward. Then you platform onto the ledge. It's so... St it's almost surreal having real platforming in a FromSoft game and also for it to not be dog shit. Because usually the closest you get is like um, uh, the elevator jump that brings you towards... Uh, all of the brain friends in the Nightmare of Mensis in Bloodborne. Uh, the Winter Lanterns. You'll get something like that every now and then, which you can technically call platforming. But it doesn't feel good. Oh, gorgeous view of the mountains in the background. And a white pinwheel, a small pinwheel made of white paper found below a cliff at Mount Congo. Perhaps it was carried there by the wind. It is simply a single pure white pinwheel. Only the child is right here. Only the child is right here. Huh. What do y'all make of that? Well, we'll find out a little bit more about that. 
soon, but you can surmise that it might be connected to Kataro. And there's a lot of grappling around for not a lot of reward here. Except monkey booze! Alcohol created by dew, pooled in a hollow tree. Fruits hidden by the monkeys in tree hollows can sometimes ferment and turn into sake with a bit of luck. While it's known for its brutally harsh flavor, some find the acquired taste irresistible. Monkey booze, monkey booze, monkey booze. This is also connected to some other themes and motifs we will find in Mount Congo, oddly enough. Also this boy. We're not even gonna give him a chance to breathe. This uh, Voldo boy. Actually, uh, uh, Voldo mixed with a little bit of Garador. So we have a wall which we can clearly press on to rotate. And I'm going to come back outside for a second to make sure that we didn't miss anything, even something minor. Actually, that's about all the due diligence I'm willing to commit to that. Because I know nothing important is there at the very least. This, however, is very important. Do not ring this bell! Inviting misfortune is an act of virtue, but only the stoutest of hearts should ever consider it. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. 